Hello guys and welcome to my 8th Java tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you something different from my other videos. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to um, create a code that will allow the uh, user to enter the username and password. So we're going to use several techniques. We're going to use the scanner class technique so the user can enter um, whatever information the, the, the computer's prompting and we're going to also use an if statement or if condition and the logical operators. So let's start by creating a class and let's call this class1 user pass. The class1 stands for exercise1. Uh, we also have to remember to check mark the, st the static void main class click OK let's get rid of this comment we don't need it so the first thing we need to do is we need to import the scanner the scanner class so we write java.util.scanner and here we create a scanner um, keyword so in this case we'll use the keyword input input equals new scanner dot system dot in okay oops where are you going where are you going so now we're going to declare the username and password we gotta declare them as um, strings not integers or doubles because remember strings are our words words or characters so we'll declare declare it as a string so user we're short for a username and pass short for password so now we need the printout that will prompt the user to enter um, their username let's eliminate the end line in there in the printout so it looks more cleaner and let's include here user equals input which is remember input is the keyword and we write next line so now we need also the printout or the the prompt for the um, password enter your password and again we eliminate the end line because we don't need it right now pass equals input dot next so there you have it so this will allow the the user to this will this first line here will prompt the user to enter the username and this will allow the user to input their username again the same thing with the password so now what we gotta create is a the if condition so this is where it gets interesting if you're working with integers doubles or floats um, say for example user was an integer so you would write it this way user equals um whatever name you want to put there because it's a, the user is a string it will not work this will not work so you have to write it this way you write user dot equals and in the parameter you write of course in a, a, a double quotes quotation mark sorry you write the name so in this case it's write leia leia princess leia that's the name of my second daughter which is 18 years old right now believe it or not so anyways then here we include the logical operators so the logical operators um, I'm gonna be show you in a second let me just include the password the same thing equals and in the parameter we write the password um, that we want with in this case will be let me see Jedi another Star Wars reference there for you so what this will do is that once if the username enters this correctly and the password correctly it will give us a printout so it, it met the condition basically so the printout is let's write um, welcome princess Leia my daughter just hates when I call her princess Leia so now what we need to write next is the else statement which is if it didn't meet this condition 
it will give us this printout. So we gotta write the printout. That's just uh, for fun. These are not the droids. Wow, look at all those typos. You are looking for. So let's run this sucker and see how it works. Okay. So let me expand this a little bit. So let's write Leia and Jedi, which is the password. And you said met, met both conditions, so we got the printout, Welcome Princess Leia. So this is how it works. Like I said before, if the username enters the correct pass, the correct username, which is Leia, and the correct password, which is Jedi, it will meet this condition. condition. If it doesn't meet any of both of these, then it will go to this condition instead. So let's run that and let me show you. So let's say Leia and let's enter something else, um, Organa, which will be Leia's last name. And you see, it gave us a second condition. These are not the droids you're looking for. So basically that's what this program does. Now you can also use the um, or logical um, operator. What or means is that if it doesn't meet this first condition, but at least meet this one, then you will have this printout. Let's show. Let me show you. So let's say instead of Leia, let's say Luke, and let's say you write Jedi. You see, it met the condition perfectly. So there you have it. Really easy program, really easy code. Um, not very complicated. We use a uh, little recap. We use the we include imported the scanner class so the user can input the information we're looking for. And then we had the if condition. And we used um, a logical operator, in this case the and logical operator. And it gave us this printout if you input the correct information. If it doesn't, then it'll give you this other printout. So anyways, um, hope you guys learned something. And um, in my next tutorial, I'll be working with a very interesting seconds to clock code. Well, anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Keep learning. Keep coding. Ciao.